In this episode, a wheel attacks me. Oh. Okay, you done? I do some math. 40? That's not 50. 60, 60, yeah. London Norris gets a ride from me. Yeah, of, of course I can give you a couple of tips for this track. No worries. And I compare power bricks. Yeah, bigger should be better. Hi guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to my channel. Yeah, of course I got it. It took me a while, but it's finally here. Currently one of the cheapest direct dry wheel on the market. Fanatex CSL DD. I say currently because competition is slowly, really slowly, creeping in. Yes, I'm thinking of Thrustmaster here, which just recently teased us with their version of a cheap direct drive wheel. Let's just hope it doesn't flop like their TGT2. We really need some competition in this field. Anyhow, I'm here to give you an answer to the burning question that's probably running through your mind right now. Should you get the 5 or 8 Newton meter version of the CSL DD wheel? To Newt or not to Newt? Is the 40 to 50 actually 60% more torque really what you're after or should you stick with the base model? Is this bigger power brick worth the extra over this smaller power brick? Well, only one way to find out. So, CSL DD that sweet, sweet entry-level direct drive nectar. Finally, we have something truly compact and affordable in this range, easy to install, yet compatible with all Fanatec's gear. It's no wonder everyone is all over it like Nutella on pancakes, it's barely available, I'm back order due to that, and of course, the whole chips situation. The fact that they now produce the PS5 Gran Turismo DD Pro Edition version of it also takes a certain toll on the availability, at least for the Xbox users, as for them is meant the regular CSL DD model. Okay, let's get back to the topic at hand. Do you need the 8Nm boost kit adapter? Honestly, no, because it won't make you faster, but will it make your experience a bit more immersive? Yes, that it will. And here is how I came to this conclusion. First of all, I've spent and I'm still spending a lot of time in this cubicle behind me. I even gave a couple of rides to the, one of the most prominent F1 drivers. So I'm safe to say that I can give you the answer to that 5 versus 8 Newton meter question. It's not like I imagined it. Yeah, I know Lando, it's important to have at least two Capri Suns before the race to stay hydrated. Just prior to trying out the CSL DD, I was driving this 1,500 euro worth 25 Newton meter Simucubes 2 Pro direct drive wheel for the last six months. Feel free to check out my review of it later on; it will be linked down below. So this transition ended up being rather interesting, as it represented a huge step back in going to a much lower torque figure of 5 Nm, I've decided to go this route on purpose, instead of hopping right on to the 8 Nm, because the thing is, it's not all about the raw strength, but rather about the fidelity of the feedback, and this is where CSL DD shines. Thankfully, as it's common with Fanatec's wheelbase and wheel lineup, the CSL DD also has a quick release option, so I could just easily swap them around while I was trying different setups, cars and sim racing games in order to have a better understanding what does a Nm brings over the 5 Nm version. In this instance, I've mostly used their McLaren GT3 V2 wheel and VRC rally wheel, as they both cover a wide range of use case. So, with collecting this back and forward experience for a while now, I will just simply put it like this. The 5 Nm variant is equally capable of transcribing what's happening with the car, as is the 8 Nm. Still, that raw jump in the power of 8 Nm model is present, don't get me wrong, but I haven't noticed anything different other than having to put a harder fight with it. It won't make you drive faster around the track, but of course, yeah, it will bump up that level of immersiveness that you will receive from a wheel that will give your forearms a bit more of a workout. Back. 
What is most important for the CSLDD in that general regard is that it's miles better compared to the belt-driven or hybrid systems, even with similar torque, like for example Thrustmaster's TSXW wheelbase. Be sure to subscribe because I will be doing a couple of more comparisons with them too, as well as a video on this big LG's TV behind me. One thing I wanted to check out is how much power does the 8Nm actually use over the 5Nm version. Although the power brake itself is declared to 180 watts for the stronger one, I've seen it pulling less than that at highest feedback settings and heavier loads, as you can see it here, and the same goes for the 5Nm power brake, which is rated at 90 watts of output. And this is where I can draw a distinct line between these two variations of the CSL DD wheelbase, what it will ask of you when it comes to handling it. Yes, it adds that final sprinkle of realism, less 20% of what you need so your brain can go, wow, this really feels like I'm driving a car. I would like to put an emphasis on feels like driving a car, and not is like driving a car, because what makes it an is like driving a car is the range of details you get when you start losing traction due to tire wear, when you feel that transition grip level going from asphalt to the curb, when you get bumped by a low safety rating fellow in an iRacing open lobby race, and so on. Generally speaking, I am always up for having some leeway and I would personally lean towards those 8Nm as an option. After all, you can always use Fanatec software to set up everything to your liking, in case you want to move those sliders around to get a more wholesome setup for a particular game. But if that is worth more, would you rather for that price difference get a better set of pedals or another wheel rim? That is still up to you. That's it for this time for me, thank you once again for watching. I hope this was helpful and if it was, please toss me a thumbs up because that really helps a lot. And if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe. And if you already are, be sure to press that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on a new video. And until then, catch you later fam.